Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are bringing you some more RTR Imperium Serectum gameplay as Sparta. Yes, last time we did pretty well. We did pretty well. We uh, a lot better than uh, the previous episode to that. Um, we took Croton Venusia. We're moving across into Rome. We are really snapping at the heels of Rome right now. We took Lysimachia, but then got attacked by Pergamon down here, who do seem to have a pretty decent army. The Agama, yeah, the Agama are very, very good. Uh, how many of them do they have? Uh, they're just standard phalangites. The Agama, looks like they only have one of them. So that's that, at least that's at least that's something decent. At least there's only one of them. Um, in terms of the plan, guys, we are wanting to destroy Rome and then move across to Anatolia. So with that in mind, let's have a look at how we rank. We haven't looked for a little while, and let's have a look. Um, so overall ranking, our population is just off the scale right now. Uh, let's look at some of our main rivals. So the Ptolemies, they're going down a little bit. Let's look at the Seleucids. Oh, the Seleucids are still on the way up. That's actually surprising because the Seleucids generally, from what I've experienced before, um, have a uh, have a big trouble doing that. Well, also, guys, we're going to toggle Fog of War just so we can see what the AI's been doing because it's just fun. We'll do it after we've looked at the rankings. Obviously... I'm not going to look... I mean, I can see all of Rome anyway. They're our main enemy. Um, so I'll try not to look at some of our other more closer enemies, like the Suebi. We'll have the Suebi on here as well. Um, let's look at Carthage. Let's get Carthage on there. Okay, Carthage took a dip, and now they're on the way back up. So anyone else? Let's... Uh, Bosporans. Um, I think that's about it in terms of our immediate enemies. We'll put Pergamon on there, but they ain't gonna do anything, are they? Right, let's uh, let's have a look then. So in terms of military, Seleucids are the highest. We're second. Egypt's actually come quite down. That's the Suebi, right? Yes, yeah, Suebi down. Hey, wait, Rome as well. Where's Rome? Let's have Rome on there. Rome gone down. They've come back up recently. Carthage are on the way up. Well done to Carthage. But the Seleucids are looking strong, honestly. And it'd be nice to see what they're doing. Thing is, uh, I don't want to like use the Toggle Fog Award to cheat in any way, but it's just interesting to see how the AI is doing and what they've decided to do. Um, obviously, we'll get a little bit of information, but we're not going to be at war with the Ptolemies, or I'm not going to be invading Anatolia anytime soon. So looking at the Toggle Fog of War now is not a huge issue. And I can see all of Rome. So it's not... It's not like I'm, I'm cheating by looking at what's happening with Rome. Of course, we have the most territories. 41, it looks like. Seleucid's about 39 or th well, 29 or 30. Egypt, a lot as well. Carthage, a decent amount. Rome's obviously going down. Pergamon looks like they have three. Is that two or three. Uh, financial. So we took that dip and we're on the way back up again. So looking at that financial situation, I think we can afford to maybe create two more armies so let's do that let's uh, create two more armies population we're off the scale compared to everyone else more than double even though the Seleucids have a, a big empire we're more than nearly probably more than double them or close to more than double close to double them um, and then overall Seleucids are close so well done honestly the Seleucids they have surprised me but let's uh let's toggle some fog of war guys and let's see What's going on around the world? I'm not going to use it to influence my decisions. So down here, obviously, I can see everything that's happening down here. I can see what's happening here uh, in terms of war. I can see everything up here. In terms of the Adrissians, I know they've only got one settlement left. I mean, we might find out they have two, but that's... Okay, because they did have settlements up here, but it looks like the Germanians have taken that back. Um... In terms of Pergamon, I don't want to attack them anyway. I just want to defend against them, so that's not going to impact anything. So I'm just trying to make sure that I don't use this or have this in any way to help me. Because I, I don't want to get any help. So let's uh, let's toggle the fog of war, guys. So let's see. Yeah, Pergamon only has two. Anyway, 
Uh, it's interesting the Seleucids are still so strong, considering they lost all their territory in Anatolia. Really? Wow. But let's just see. So the Greek city-states exist. They're getting sieged down by, uh, by uh, the Ptolemaics. Uh, the Ptolemaics look relatively uh, strong, but they're, they're mainly focused, I'm guessing, against the Seleucids. And as long as that carries on... Oh my god, go on, Seleucid boys! As long as that carries on, look how many armies they have over here. Where is the Ptolemaics' response? What? Where is their response, guys? Where are their armies? Where are your armies? Wow, honestly... Wow, I'm incredibly surprised by this. Ptolemaics, their armies are, are nowhere to be found. Oh, they're all over here. They're all in Anatolia. Yeah, look, they have all their armies over here while they're getting absolutely destroyed by the Seleucids down here. What are they doing? Get these guys moving. Get these guys on the front lines, boys. Wow, I, I'm, I am honestly gobsmacked by this. Top of that, you have Armenia coming down here. And I don't know whether they're at war with the Seleucids. Looks potentially like they are. Um, yeah, they're not actually sieging down anything now, so I can't really tell. But Armenia's done very well as well. Very well. Okay, so this land up here, has this got a settlement in or is, is that it? No. So the Idrisians do have one territory left. The Bosporans... The Bosporans are looking okay. Like They're not looking incredibly strong, but they're looking okay. Um, oh yeah, there is this territory. That's that. Uh, that little block. But is there one in this like wasteland? Uh, I don't think so. So, let's, let's go through the factions. So, Bosporans, they're looking okay. They're doing fine. Um, they don't, like, obviously I'm not going to use this to my advantage, but I didn't want to attack the Bosporans anyway. Um... But they're doing okay. They're not doing too badly. It's not the greatest of territories, all this. And they are directly at war with the Armenians, it looks like. But the Armenians have done excellent. That is a great, great result for the Armenians. Really good. So they actually might be overtaking the Ptolemies over here sometime soon. Seleucids, I'm honestly impressed. I'm honestly really impressed that they've managed to hold their empire together. Uh, and they've... They haven't expanded... Oh, no, they have expanded over here. They've taken Nisa, which I believe the Parthians had early on. And the Parthians are gone. Bactra. They've taken Bactra off the Bactrians. Oh, no, that's Parthia. That's... so oh, yeah. Parthia has one left, and it's the Bactrian... Original Bactrian capital. Interesting. But, yeah, the Seleucids, they've expanded their borders. Obviously, they've lost all their land over here. But... They are absolutely shredding the Egyptians. And I don't see any Egyptian resistance all the way on this side. So the Egyptians might be gone. They might be gone soon or just relegated to Anatolia. That would be a huge result for the Seleucids. So I'm, I'm honestly really impressed with the Seleucids. Well done, guys. Managing to hold your empire together. Because it's not easy when you have... You can see like a lot of these places have... The opposite, like, different religions to them. Uh, different cultures to them. So, it's really tough for the Seleucids. And believe me, I've, I've played uh, quite a, a few turns as a Seleucids. 30 turns or so on very hard. Just, just for fun. Because uh, I love the Seleucids. And it is not easy to hold your empire together. So, well done to the AI. Well done. Really good. Really good. So, the Ptolemaics, they're uh, gone, basically, down this side. Unless they can muster a huge force... There's loads of full stack Seleucid armies over here, so I don't think they're going to be able to hold this this region. The Seleucids are going to take it. Pergamon, as we said, I'm not going to invade them anyway. They only got two settlements. They're they're pretty pointless. Um, all the Ptolemaic armies are around in Anatolia, so of course I don't want to attack them anytime soon either. Bosporans doing well. Armenia's done well. Let's have a look at Bactria. Bactria is a snake, a large snake. Uh, through uh, through the various regions. Wow, it's uh, interesting. They've got a lot of troops looking at them. Yeah, a lot of troops. Real lot of troops. Just not 
having the, the staying power, I guess. They need to take this back. That's their capital. They need to take that back. And they have enough troops to do so. Look, there's no... Uh... Okay. The Seleucids are going for it. Well done, Seleucids. I, 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 I honestly, I'm, I'm kind of gobsmacked how well the Seleucids have done there. Uh, the Sarka, they're not going to be a threat to us anytime soon, are they? Yeah, they're not going to be anywhere near us. Um, the Sarka are doing pretty nicely. Look at that. Some big armies. Um, but the Sarka have an extremely strong roster early on. Extremely strong, especially with the Sarka Noble Cavalry. Um, or the Sarka... Yeah, so they, they're not doing great, the Sarka. All right, let's uh, get across to... Let's have a look at uh, the old Carthage then. So the Carthage hasn't killed um, the Massilii. Yeah, the Massilii. The Carthage has not killed the Massilii yet. That is shocking, really. Because they are one of the easiest <laughs> nations to fight in the game. They don't have a... They don't have... They have a decent-ish roster, but... I suppose they've got the African infantry, which are really good. Uh, and the missile cavalry are very, very uh, annoying. But Carthage, what are you doing? Obviously, they've taken all of Sicily. Uh, they're trying to take Calaris. But Illyria is under siege. Um, but they're, they're, they're really focusing on Rome. But I'm, I'm surprised they haven't gone after the Massilii. Because the Massilii are a, 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 an easy, soft target early game. I don't, I don't know what they've been doing. They don't have a huge amount of armies. They've got a couple of full stacks. Three full stacks, actually, over here. That's enough to beat all this. So, come on, Carthage. What are you doing? Uh, Malika, they've lost Gades, and, and they're probably going to lose Malika. The Aravachi. Yeah, I said that right this time. I normally say Avarachi, but the Aravachi doing decent. They've taken the whole of Spain. The Arverni um, are awful. What the hell has happened to you, Arverni? Why? <laughs> and how? How have you lost all this land? Or not taken this land to rebels? That is criminal. The Arverni are having a terrible, terrible game. That is awful. I can't... I honestly can't believe... Have they lost this land to rebels? Or have they... Have they just not taken it yet? That's... If they haven't taken that yet, that is criminal. The Suebi are doing decent. Got a nice power base over there. Some nice amount of troops as well. And they're expanding. They really want to expand into here as quickly as possible. The Iceni as well. Shocking. Not having um, taken um, taken this land up here. They should be pouncing on this right now. Should be pouncing on it. Um, and then Massalia. Massalia. Actually decent. I'm, I'm pretty impressed that they've managed to do this. But obviously helped along by a very weak Arverni. Well done, Massalia. I would like to not be bordering you at, at all possible. Uh, because I don't want to have to come up into this land. Puts us at larger border with Suebi. But yeah, that, that looks like everything on the map, honestly. I, it, honestly amazed that, that they still exist. Uh, all the Greek cities are obviously dead, apart from us. And Pergamon. Well, Pergamon's, what, a Diadochi? Or are the clusters a Greek city? I'm, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, interesting. Um, biggest biggest winners are Armenia, the Seleucids, um, and probably the Massilii from, for, for staying alive. <laughs> That's mad. I, I really was not expecting that. Anyway, let's uh, get, this, uh, get this Fog of War gone. And let's uh, let's get into the bath uh, into the episode. Uh, we've spent a lot of time, and I think it's an end turn. So let's end the turn. Oh well, well. <laughs> well, at least we know that the Ptolemies are gonna be losing a lot of their power base over there with the Seleucids attacking them. So I guess we're going to Anatolia, boys. Unless we want to just defend. I mean, we can defend. Defending's fine. Okay, Adrissians, if you kill Cleonimos, I will be absolutely fuming. Okay, no, they're good. They didn't. I knew that was going to happen. We're going to die. Yeah, fine. Wait, they didn't sink us. How did they not sink us? Normally they sink. 
Well, well done for not sinking us, Romans. <laughs> Stupid Romans. I've got a decent fl fleet at Rhodes. Um, well, with with the attack of the Ptolemies, I think it's really, really important we build two more armies as quick as possible. Then we got those two. Let's go. How many of these do we need? Uh, five, six, seven, and then Thermon as well. Okay, Thermon. Let's go for the Spartan cavalry. Then Amphipolis. Where were we uh, recruiting those archers? Where we got the extra upgrade? Not there. Is it by those? Oh, it can't be Pella. No. Where was it that has that extra upgrade to archers? Ah, it doesn't matter. We'll uh, get going with some more of these over here. Let's just get as many as we can. Get those. And then Athens. Athens, get your four archers. And then probably Thessalonica, get the four archers as well. Oh, we can't. Uh, Pella, get the four archers. I oh, know, because we're going to be retraining at Pella, aren't we? Get that. What about Larissa? No. Mylazora, can you get it? No. Hmm. Oh well. Get some of those. Eight horses there. All of those. Athens. Yeah, so it's going to be eight turns before we get this army together, really. Or two armies, or whatever. Uh, Ekamon of Orkamenos. We've got a new guy. And he's actually alright as well. Benevolent ruler. Orkamenon. Yeah. Nice. Ekemon of Orkamenos. Where do we want you to go? I think Thessalonica, honestly. Where were you? Were you in Orkamenos? I mean, obviously. That Larissa. Yeah, we've got someone there. Thermon. What about Ambrakia? Let's go to... Uh... Well, we want Bylazora to... Oh, we've got you. When did you come of age? Plus two morale. Are you part of an army or not? Is this army fully retrained now? Yes, it is. So, I mean, I think we still focus on the Romans predominantly. But I will come and defend against the Ptolemies. I mean, I might just leave this army in Byzantium. And they can flip between these two. We only really need one army to defend. How many turns left? Five turns on that. So, and then you need to get into there. And you need to retrain all these boys. Yep, yeah, retrain them. You guys move together. Um, we've got those extra guys in there. That's good. Got the big ships there. You guys... Yeah, right. So, in terms of what we want to do, which way do we go? So they're coming for Venusia. I would like, I would like to go and take Ascalum. Hmm. Got to go through that army though. Oh, it looks trash. Okay, well we'll probably do that. So just calm down, calm down, calm down. Got a lot to do. Got a lot to do. We'll get this. Don't know what they're doing there. Um, you guys come over to Sparta. So, remember, we've got Pergamon attacking us. We've also got the Ptolemies attacking us. So, I'm going to send this army over here to do the defense of both of these regions. That's fine. Up here in the north, we'll have Cleonimos. He'll be taking that after this turn. That will be the Adrissians dead. So, these two armies will become rebels. That's fine. Don't need to worry about them after that. Then we basically just need to put some watchtowers around. So let's go and do that with this guy. No, we can't fit one there, can we not? Well, that's a bit annoying, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's not our territory yet. Well, you can come over here because that's going to be our territory. We'll build watchtowers everywhere. So we can see the Bosporans coming because they will come eventually. And what I'm thinking is just sending these guys up there to be defensive units. 
Cryptia and all these, all these like Falksmen and that Bastanian swordsman. They're a decent defensive unit, especially once we get stone walls in Tyras. We'll be able to defend there quite handily, I would say. Even as well as if we get some more mercenaries, some more swordsmen and infantry, that's going to be fine to defend against the Bosporans, I would say, especially with wooden walls, with their stone walls. And then, so that will be taken. We'll defend over here. Also got the Suebi to worry about. We're defending over this way. They're going to take those forts. I'm really not bothered. Once we've taken that, which is in four turns. Yeah, I'm fine waiting for that. We can go and kill the Serakis as well. Then, Roman-wise, we have this army in Ancona, which kind of needs to come back for retraining. How long has it got? It's got seven turns. We've got this army in Croton, which can move on when we get chance. Once we brought all this, uh, these Cryptia across. We have this army, though. Oh, we could go for Malaventum. Do you know what? I think that's the best option. Let's do that. Let's go for Malaventum. Snuck in. They'll probably attack us, and that will be good, because we can do a defensive battle against them. I would love that. Um, in terms of the other armies, that army's on the way over there. This one needs retraining. Um, we've got the army in Pella getting retrained. That's fine. That's what we need. And then this army, once it's taken, a Sanka can get some uh, mercenaries. Or we can send up some of this Cryptia to kind of defend these forts, etc. That'll be fine. Um, in terms of going to fight the Ptolemies, I don't want to just yet. I think... like We, we need to focus on Rome. We have... Two, three, and four. We got four armies on the, the peninsula with Rome. Full of full stacks. One of which I want to send home for retraining. And we'll have another one. We'll have the, this will be the fifth one. And then we're building two more armies. I'm thinking these two more armies are going to go to Rome. And then we just defend, like I say, against the Ptolemies over here. I think that's the best option. Anyway. Let's uh, have a look. Byzantium, Ancona, and Lysimachia. Yep, we know that. Akemnon. Yeah, we've got a lot of different things. Ceasefire between Massilia and Aravachi. Interesting. Right, Megalopolis. We built the... Ca Let's build the scriptorium then. Argos became a huge city. Great. We don't even have stone walls there. I want to build stone walls just because it's extra law and it's nice. Roads, it really doesn't matter what we build. Chalkis. Hmm. I mean, Chalkis, it, it really, yeah, again, it doesn't matter. It's island as well, so that's a bit annoying. Right, and Brachia. We want. Let's build that. We want as many military buildings as possible here. Uh, By Lazora. Let's build. Again, military buildings will be good. Oh, we can upgrade Dimos and Phobos. Fantastic. That's extra upgrades. Extra upgrades. Brilliant. Because that's our upgrading hub. Amphipolis. Let's go for that. A quincum. So a quincum, we built that. That's that's fine. Why can we only build level one of that? Do we need something else before we build the second one? Maybe a temple? Obviously, law over here. Suggestica, we also built that. So let's go... For second level. I think Suggestica can be a, a recruitment hub up this way. So let's start moving towards that. It's going to take a lot of turns to get there. But we can do it. Byzantium and then Piero Bridava. Go for the uh, baths. Tarentum. Hmm. Uh, we could go for the Odeon. And then Croton. Do we go for law? I think law. Just it's extra happiness law anyway. So let's do that. Right. Are there any battles I want to take? I don't think so. I think we end the turn again, guys. Sorry that was a bit of a a long-winded turn, but that campaign management's really important. And we also, like I say, there's a lot of armies out there. <laughs> Keeping track of them is is quite hard. Um. Was there anyone on a boat then? I don't think so. Check. So they're going to sally out. That's good. I'll take that. 
Okay, decent, decent-ish units. Light Lancers. Hoplites. Dying Swordsmen are very good. Again, we have, uh, we have these guys. Let's hope this time, slightly better managing my units. Anyway, I'll see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are, boys. Right, let's just pause. Okay, we're in a lot better situation than we were last time. Let's drop that. Drop. Clear Nymos, my boy. You're getting old, but you are still, still the greatest of all time, my friend. We will name a city after you. Once we have taken Rome, we shall name it Clear Nymosium or something. I don't know. <laughs> Slow motion. Okay, you dropped. Right then. You boys. Let's get you uh, forward. Alright. You guys. Right, let's take you all off phalanx. Slow motion. Phalanx off phalanx. Pause. You guys forward. Um... You guys here. They will send their cavalry out that way. So I'm thinking, what if we do something like that? And then back it up with that. And then you guys. I know that seems a bit weird, but we'll try it. Cavalry over this side in the, in the forest. Archers. Let's get you in the middle here. And clear Nymos, of course, my boy. You can come over here. All right, let's see whether that works. Everyone get going forward, boys. In fact, the archers could probably come a little bit forward, but it's fine. The dying swordsmen are going first. Are we going to reach there in time? I'm not sure. Uh, so you boys, actually, probably. This army's been in uh, action for a long time, hasn't it? Get there, boys, quick. Then we can uh, get in the phalanx mode. You boys there, actually. There. Oh, God, you just running across like that. That kind of freaks me out a little bit. But it's okay. You boys, let's get you there rather than the other way. Get your phalanx in, boys. Greek Hoplites, Dying Swordsman. Cool. What are these guys doing? Oh, get there, get there, get there. Phalanx, quick. Nice. I'm going to throw their javies. That's fine. I'm going to do that if they want. Yeah, keep firing, boys. They've not got all their cavalry out yet. That's absolutely fine. What? Why do they do this? <laughs> you guys are all in phalanx, yeah. Get there. Go, go, go. Phalanx. Let's walk through. It seems to work better when you press, tell them to walk through. Rather than telling them to attack. Because then they'll, uh, they go a bit weird when you tell them to attack. They start moving their formation all over the place. Get there. Come on, guys. I know you're taking some damage. The dying swordsmen are brutally good. So let's, uh, seeing as they're not bringing anyone else through the middle. Let's go. Let's go and uh, sandwich these boys. You guys get into them, pissy loys. Let's get those Thracian light lancers. It's going to be easy. Easy pickings for our cavalry. Easy pickings. Want you to actually go there. You get through there. Oh. You guys got there. Right, our cavalry. Let's clear Nymos. 
Kill that Zista 4 oi. Should absolutely shred them. Yep, nice. Killing them easily. Okay, good. Everything's going okay. Get you there. Right, cavalry, group you up. Let's get them. What are these? Thracian light lancers. They should be shredded as well. The noble cavalry would be a bit harder. But that's fine. Okay, we're doing okay. Get over there if you can, boys. Apparently, now get into phalanx. Now they're wavering. Uh, cavalry's taking some serious damage. Uh, let's get out. I don't want Clean Amos to die. Would be quite annoying if that was the case. Go, get him, get him, get him. Get those light lancers. We should beat those light lancers quite easily. Go, 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 go. Okay. You guys go fight them. Wait, they got two generals. What? You're the good one. So we do have some good ones on this. I hate the fact that they uh, they throw javies as well. It's very annoying. Everyone knows my hatred of missile cavalry. See what they, when you say attack them, they do this weird shit. Like just form a phalanx like that. It's it's fine. Don't need to be doing that stupid shit. I think we're all good over here, aren't we? Right, everyone, just uh, come and chill over here. You're still fighting goddamn Greek Oplites. That's trash, isn't it? God, our cavalry's taking some battering here. Is there much left? No, it's pretty much no one. Alright, get out, cavalry. Let's speed it up. Uh, and if they want to come back out of this way, that's fine. Because we will uh, absolutely chop them to pieces with our phalanxes. These guys are still fighting, but they're not losing any men yet. Okay, cavalry's coming back around that way. You, let's ungroup you. Just come over there. I don't want to lose you because you've got some experience that I want to keep. Do this. What are you? Ah, the royal bodyguards again. That Oplites has lasted a long time. I'm impressed. Well done, boyos. Right, let's charge him in the back. That was a bit of a mistake by me. There we are, he's dead. Now, back out and chill. If it becomes a draw, that's fine, because we win, because it was our last turn anyway. There we are. Fantastic. Ah, that was a lot better that time, wasn't it? A lot better. Well done, guys. Good fighting. Anyway, guys, I will see you on the campaign map. Here we are, guys. Okay. Interesting. Maybe we shouldn't have taken that draw. Oh. Well, that's actually really annoying. <laughs> well, another battle. Hez Benus. Oh, he's, he's, got, he's got nine men. Maybe we should have taken that. Then they would these guys would be dead. But I guess they would become rebels. So we're just taking out a, a rebel army at this point. The Romfia infantry are pretty decent. I like those. Falksmen. Some Peltasts. 
Tribalian Light Spearmen. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty confident we'll do okay. I, I, cavalry is obviously hugely depleted, so we're going to have to be careful against that cavalry. They've got three Sun Royal Bodyguards, but no General. What? That's interesting. Anyway, guys, I will see you on the uh, battle map. Here we are. Yes, fantastic. Right then. Um, well, we don't specifically need to be anywhere. Got to kill that general, though, that comes in. But I think we just charge him. You can just stay out. I don't really want you in this. Group you up. Start the battle. The enemy have brought up more men. Where from? Oh, they always love to just try and flank, but it, it never works. It's just annoying. It's just annoying having to move my men like this. Just for them to still just attack them head on because I've, I've just moved them. Oh, now see they move. Oh, great feint there, guys. Great feint. Wow. Really clever. Big brain plays. Wow, wow, wow. Just stop being dickheads. <laughs> They're bringing their cavalry. I don't like that. Gonna have to use my uh, archers to deal with them. Now, where is their second army? Big brain plays, boys. Big brain plays by the AI. Do that. A bit more defensive position. Yeah, get the archers firing. Slow that down. Let's get them back. Get you two over this side to fire at those guys. And you two over this side to fire at those guys. We'll have to charge their cavalry at some points. Okay, there are other armies there. Nine men. The whole nine men. The glorious nine men. This is maybe why I should have uh, some units in reserve. Guys, are you running? Because that's very slow. That's not running. That's slugging. What are they doing? This is what happens when you don't have cavalry dominance. Guys, run! Yeah, they're going to join up with them. That's really not... Really quite annoying. Guys, fire for God's sake! They're going to kill my archers, but that's fine. We've got more than their Pionian cavalry. Oh, it's on slow motion. That's why. They'll kill our archers, but... Not too bothered. As long as we break... Yeah, we broke that Pionian cavalry quite easily. Now they're going to... This side as well. We need to... Go into them. Right, no, no. Let's go and get these guys instead. Okay, they're coming forward. Romfio infantry. Good, we've got our nice phalanx formation. Keep them at bay, boys. Keep them at bay. Yeah, archers taking damage. Who are you? Are you guys taking a lot of damage. They're just focusing down one unit. Which I guess is a clever tactic. Just hope these Thracian Light Lancers don't come back. We've got to kill enough of them so they don't. Yeah, kill them all. Good. No. Oh, they are just doing pointless shit right now. Go. Let's go and kill him. Let's get over across this way. Kill him, for God's sake. Otherwise... 
Well, I guess he's just retreating to a city that's already dead. Oh, goddamn skirmisher cavalry. My least favorite thing. Who are you? Let's get there. Oh, hello. Fight them. You guys into them. Go that way. That way. You guys this way. Come on. Get moving. Kill the king. Kill the king. Okay, well, at least we broke those guys. Problem is, though, like... These guys... Even though, like, okay, good. Even though they're uh, they're not re they're then they're gonna become rebels, they won't just automatically die. The once we fought them like normal rebels. Oh my god! Just just halt, guys, halt! I don't know what was happening there. All right, now let's charge these guys. Light spearmen, and they should break. Oh, they came back! Goddamn uh, lancers. Okay, we broke a lot of them there, there. God. Yep. Let's go. Get in there. Get your footy phalanx sorted. God, it's a mess when the AI does this. Like, well, I don't know why they just focus down, like, a single unit. <laughs> Let's get into these guys. Royal Warriors, they must be quite good. Hoping we break them. Your king has been killed and your general. There we are. Don't let them fight to the death, though. That's what happens when you lose cavalry dominance, guys. <laughs> get a bit shredded. Alright, let's go and uh, finish them off. What is this? Oh, coming back from routing is annoying. Who's not routing? Who's not routing? Everyone's routing. I don't see anyone that's not. Alright, let's make sure we destroy this army because whatever's left of it will become rebels if we don't. Get them. Clear Nymos, you can go after them. You guys after them. And let's just kill as many as we can. Yeah, that'll be fine. Kill them. I think that'll be good. Once we've killed all these guys. Your pursuit is so bad. Just pursue them. It's because these three are over there. So they, they like hang around in the middle of the, the unit. There we are. That's better. Put them back together again. There we are. Fantastic. Ah, glorious. Killed 400. We did a pretty decent job, most of them. This one, 181. That's pretty good. Some of them, like this guy, took a lot of damage and didn't do much, but most people did quite well. So well done. So this army will definitely need retraining after this. And we'll get Cleonimus back to Pella. Get his lovely retraining done. And as I say, we will rename Rome Cleonimus or Cleonimodas. I don't know. Cleonimon. Cleonimon. There we are. Cleonimon. That sounds best, doesn't it? Named after him. What a glorious, glorious leader. Anyway, I'll see you on the campaign map, guys. <laughs> Here we are, guys. Okay, well. Seeing as it's 0%, I think we will exterminate this settlement. Yeah, I knew the Romans would attack us. Hmm. Okay. So, this army's actually quite damaged. And Captain Lucius just has two. They're both captains, though, so... This one's a Tribunus Militum as their leader. 
We have enough cavalry to deal with that. Actually, this army has not much cavalry. Four units of cavalry, but should be enough to deal with that. And obviously this general doesn't doesn't matter, but we'll try and get rid of that Tribunus Militum. And bring the hammer and anvil, boys. Anyway, I will see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are. Oh, no, no, not trees. The true. We are the heirs of Alexander and Achilles. The true heirs of Alexander and Achilles, boys. The true heirs. So I'm thinking... All right, let's have a look. So the city's over there. So that unit's going to come in from that side. So I'm thinking we set up over on this right-hand side. And this time, I'm going to have two in reserve. Uh, we'll group them. We'll use groups for everyone that... Uh, it's annoyed that I don't use groups. We're using groups today. And the cavalry, whatever. Archers. You ahead, and then you I'm on. Right. So, we set up probably along the road, really. Set up like that. We will be down the hill, which is a bit annoying, but it'll be fine. Set up there. Get you guys in front. You guys can go there. You guys can go here. Cavalry. So you, no, not there. Let's get you behind. Then you, I'm on. Let's go get you there. It's going to be annoying fighting them in the trees, so we'll stay out in the open. Now bringing that, we've got to kill these two if we want to take the city. So I think, I mean, I think a, a cavalry charge should suffice. Oh, it's Triarii though. Well, your job then, my friend. You guys, let's go and uh, deal with these boys. And then we'll just extend the line. No, apart from you, let's just extend the line again. Nice and thick formations. Quick. Right, cavalry, let's go. Uh, that's the edge of the map. If anything, I kind of want to get through this gap. What is that? Companion cavalry. Right, archers. Let's get you behind. Come on, boys. Let's go. Up there. Now behind. And we shall shred these boys. So, into them first. I'd say the Hastati should be easier to break, and they are the general. I can't see because it's the edge of the map. Still eager. Glad to have General. Concerned over exposed flanks. Well, let's get back out. Don't want to lose too many of you. Okay, they're going hard on this right flank. It's fine. Get into that Hastati again then. Right, now you can sandwich them. Should be nice and easy. I thought that would break them, honestly. We need to kill that General and then they will break. Back. Are you guys in phalanx or what? Okay, well. It's going to be a double sandwich over this side. Let's go, boys. Double Big Mac. Damn, Astarte. God damn, I hate them so much. No, no, you are going to deal with them. You're going to sandwich these boys. That poor unit is going to just lose so many troops. Kill them, for God's sake. They're wavering. Let's break them. Come on, let's break them. Right, now you in phalanx. Oh, it's tough, this. There we are. 
Okay, that's one of his armies broken. The Tribunus Militum. He's getting the back of this Astarte. You guys need to start moving. Come on, kill them. Now into them. Okay, we broke one. We didn't break the Triarii though, which is usual because uh, the Triarii are pretty good. Okay, these guys are all nicely lined up there for a good charge, but we need to break this side first. So the Hastati, I think, is of the second army. I think this Triarii is the... Uh, the... Uh, the other unit. Come on, let's break them. Come on. Overwhelming numbers. Shaken. Distraught. Broken. Good. That's that army done. Right, now we just need to worry about the uh, cavalry. Let's go. Get you up there. And you guys. You guys need to save these guys. Well, one of you can come in here. Uh, Kill them. And you guys go and kill them. Let's go. Come on, boys. Let's go. Let's get you over here. Well, we broke them anyway. It's good. Ah, uh, get your yeah, UI on in there. Now, Phalanx. Right, big charge. Let's go, boys. Big charge. Okay, the Phalanx is holding very nicely. I like that. The Phalanx seems to do really well against the Romans. Oh, that is a that is a glorious, glorious route. It's what we like to see, boys, isn't it? That is what we like to see. So, let's get into the Triarii. Of course, the Triarii are a bit tougher. Come on, let's break them. It's a big unit of Triarii as well. We've got to remember that. Our cavalry has just been shredded by this. It's alright. We can leave them. Broke them as well. Okay, they're broken. Nice. So, one, just one unit of Triarii left. How many have we killed? We've still got a few to kill. In order to destroy both armies. Oh, glorious. Now out, now out. So unfortunately, these uh, these units can't go in wedge formation. Yeah, can't go in wedge formation. It'd be nice to get some scything wedges through this, wouldn't it? Oh, go on, archers! I love that. I love that. They keep coming back. The Romans won't stop, will they? Right, boys. Have you killed them? Kill them all. Alright, let's get into that Triarii. They should break instantly as well. It says 10%. So, once we've broken these guys, I will end the battle. Yep. Oh, fantastic. Ooh, will Captain Vibius be dead, though? Oh, maybe I should have charged them down. But well done to everyone. Doing some really, really decent jobs. 70 there for 9. That's good. This guy, of course, he got caught in the double Big Mac. That was unfortunate. But if everyone else did really well. That one guy, we got him stuck in the middle. <laughs> and then we sandwiched the people who were sticking him in the middle. The double Big Mac was complete. And unfortunately, he took the damage. <laughs> But that should mean that the city is ours now. So even if they want to come and attack us, they can't. So that's good. I mean, the phalanxes seem to work very well against the Romans. Really well. Really well, in fact. Like, the Romans just can't hack it. Which is it's good. It's really good. It's good to see. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. And that's Maleventum ours. That should be Maleventum. Anyway, I'll see you on the campaign map, guys. Here we are, guys. Okay, so they did attack us. Quite confused by this. Because... Okay, a lot of tri... Uh, no, it's a starting, not Triarii. Oh, 
Honestly, I, I think we win that. No, they don't have cavalry. I know our cavalry's taken a beating there. But again, we just need to uh, form the line, hold the line, and we should be good. Um, that should mean we're on the top of the hill this time as well. It's a night battle. They wanted a night battle. But if I press withdraw, will I not go into the city? Anyway, it doesn't matter because if we kill this, that's another full stack of Roman troops that we're killing. Which is fantastic. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the battle map. A lot of battles in this episode, eh? Here we are, guys. Okay, so it doesn't look like we're on a hill. Yes! Glorious. That's the hill. This is the hill. That's the hill we want. Uh, but they might be up there, so I'm not going to take that. I'm going to take... Uh, I don't like fighting in the trees like we know. Um... I mean, potentially I'm thinking here. Why did they get the goddamn hill? It was the other way around last time. Hmm. Anyway. I kind of just want to give them nowhere where they can... Uh, they can do the stupid maneuvering that they like to do. I'm thinking we come here. Protect our left flank. That side. Don't do that. You guys on the right. You guys on the left. 27 of you in the middle. You I'm on there. We'll group you all. We'll group you as well. And we will group you. Of course, we've got to use our cavalry very wisely. That's the hill, isn't it? Um, where's a good place? They like to go... They're going right again. Where is a good place here? There's not that many. Let's uh, just spread like that, I'd say. But they like to focus on one area, so a nice thick formation is always quite nice. And we'll get the archers ahead, as usual. Get the cavalry here. You guys come into the middle. Run. You guys get there. Uh, and you, I'm on. Get you in the middle. Once we've got everyone moved, we have. Good. So they like going... They like just trying to flank, but it, it never really works. And here's a nice little ridge. So let's... Uh, let's do that. Try and uh, get rid of their... Uh, their flanking efforts. behind get you up to here you I'm on forward 27 up there now all of you let's get you on phalanx mode it looks like they're going to go heavy down the middle that's kind of good for us as long as they bunch up all good it's predominantly Hestati not Triarii which is always good because the Hestati are infinitely easier to uh, break. Right, archers, let me get you back. They have a lot of infantry. A lot, a lot of infantry. Oh, hello. One single equites. Two equites. What? Just kill him. Just kill him, for God's sake. What do they do? Like, why do they do this? Kind of really annoys me, honestly. No, let's not do that. That's a stupid idea. We have our infantry on the flank to, to, to uh, defend against this, don't we? Don't want to get my cavalry in there for, for some time. So let's get them in the middle because it's going to stop them trying to do the stupid flanking maneuvers that they love to do. Get there. Okay, there they are. 
Is everyone in Phalanx? Yes, you are. Good. Get there. And get into Phalanx. Okay, there we are. Are you guys in Phalanx? Yes, you are. Keep them at bay then. Where's their general? There he is. See this stupid flanking stuff? Like, they're just splitting their army up. It's really not that great for them. They've got some decent experience, those guys. Why would you... Why? Just why? You're going to have to force me into this. Isn't going to make a difference, is it? That's awful charge. Awful charge. Right, let's get you guys over here. Do you know what, Cav? We're going to come around this side. This is a better side to be, isn't it? I hope these guys hold out this side long enough for me to get my cavalry all the way back around that way. Gonna have to use you guys. Right, cavalry. In the back of that Hastati. What are they? Lucanian Heavy Infantry. I think we can get this charge off and get away quick enough. That should be a decent charge. Yeah, now out. Oh, I wish we had good cavalry. Like, we would have instantly routed those guys if we actually had good cavalry. Which we don't, unfortunately. Now up there, boys. So, who is who over here? That's the question. This unit's getting shredded, unfortunately. That guy's okay. So we're good. Right, cavalry. Let's go and try and snipe that general. It's going to be our import. That's going to be the important thing here, isn't it? Just hoping our flanks don't crumble. Let's do a rally with you, Imon. Might have to pull him out at some point. I think that point is now. And what we'll do. Let's get you guys there if we can. You guys spread out. Oh! That's good. Was he charging us or what? Get that Astarte then. Start on this side. Broken. Nice. Let's go. One broken. Let's get into this blob. Hoping we break them. Broken. Good. Get into them. Come on, Cav. You're our hope. You're our hope. You're our only hope. Okay, this has worked out quite well, actually, doing this. This poor guy is, is going to die, but... Oh, well. Rally, who are you fighting? And come down this way. Come on, Cav. We need you. They're eager. Broken. Good, good, good. We broke two of those. Let's break them all. Get this Prinker Pays if we can. Hard to tell between our banners who's who, really. Broken. Good. Alright, this flank needs to go. And then we can work on this flank. Let's go. Let's go. Get in there. They only shake it. Okay, broken. Good. They seem to like just be shaken and then just break sh straight afterwards. All right, let's just clean up a few of these guys so they don't keep coming back. Clean them up. Kill a load of them. That's that whole flank gone, apart from you. Let's go. Let's clean them up. Alright, let's get this new line set over here. 
Why are they fighting to the death? We've got a good uh, line set up again now. How are you fighting to the death? Archers, let's get away. Right, cavalry, where are you? Over here. Let's get these guys before they get off the battlefield. I think we can we can hold them over there. It's it's fine. We don't need to uh, worry too much. Okay, so I'm starting. Good. Let's go get them. You guys get them. You guys get them. You guys get them, and then we'll bring you back together in a second. Cool. How are we doing over here? Let's rally again. It's just that last blob to kill. Right, get these guys now. This is Starty. Done your damage. Good boys. Good. We ne lost nearly half our troops here, but obviously big battle against a full stack of Romans. It's quite decent only to lose half. Still only have... Tw they still have 28% left. Okay, they, they routed. Interesting. Good. Right, now we can focus on this blob. The biggest blob of them all. Well done to the Phalangites over this side. They've, they've held pretty well. Get in there. Just, just, just march in. Get your pikes in there. Add a bit of extra damage before we charge our cavalry in. I think we can do a mass route here if we get right behind them. Let's go. Well, it was a... Uh, again, once again, the phalangites seem to work. Obviously, they, they, li they like the, their, their flanking, which works quite well for them. But speed it up. Into that Hastati. We're all knackered. All these Spartan cavalry, unfortunately. There should be a route here. And then once one's gone, should be able to get the others. Okay, out now, boys. Out. And we'll get try and get this to start on the end, I think. Guys, out, I said. Uh, right, into those guys. Okay, they've broken as well. Okay, it's going to be a mass route very soon. There's actually not that many Roman units left. Broken, good. Just these Hastati left. Okay, cool. That's it. And they only got 15% left as well. You five there. Right, let's speed it up. Kill as many as you can. Them. Nice. That's glorious. Ah, glorious. Glorious, glorious. And wherever you are, you nearly killed them, haven't you? Ah, oh, fantastic. Oh, lovely. Lovely kill ratio as well. Cavalry doing well. Cavalry just doing absolute bits there. Some of the phalangites again. Good. It's just that holding the line and using the cavalry. Imagine how powerful we would be if we had good cavalry. <laughs> We'd be OP, bro. That's probably why we don't get good cavalry, though. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. I'm hoping. Come on, let us take it. Yeah, I was going to say. Right, and we'll um, enslave. Okay, cool. So, Pergamon wants to attack Lysomachia. It's a hugely uh, in their favor. But I don't think they know about the uh, Phalangite stack tactic. <laughs> oh, they do have two Agama. I'm looking at it. Uh, oh, no, they're just Hoplites. It's that. That's the Agama. There's only one of them. Okay, that's good. That is good for us. Anyway, guys, well, before we play that battle, I'm going to end the, the episode here. So if you enjoyed this episode where we've taken a large chunk out of the Romans and hopefully we've killed the Adrissians. Well, I believe we've killed the Adrissians in that turn. A lot happening at the end of this turn, eh? Um, 
And hopefully, guys, I will see you again on the next video. Please like and subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you soon.